So as we speak, SpaceX is attempting to move a rocket. Marco Santana is here with me to talk all about it. So we had a photographer out there today taking photos. Why is this such a big deal? Well, the, it's a big deal because SpaceX is trying to develop a re reusable rocket. And this is the, the next step in that is recovering the rocket after it launches. Uh, it lands on uh, a barge out in the Atlantic Ocean and it comes into port. So what they're doing now is they're, they're transporting that from Port Canaveral to their hangar or f storage facility, mm -hmm. where they actually have had, they have like several sitting in there. Um, and so what, what Elon Musk, who's a SpaceX CEO, is trying to do is prove that he can reuse these rockets. And when mm -hmm. he does, that will bring the prices of launches down, r resulting in more launches. So the ones that are in this storage facility now, they've been used once. Mm -hmm. They have not been used twice. Correct. Okay, so when are we gonna start seeing the double uses? This summer, uh, they're, they're targeting their first effort this summer to uh, to launch a, a, a used rocket, mm. which is, sounds strange to yeah. say, but um, you know, typically in the past you have a rocket, it goes up and it, it goes into the ocean somewhere, all of the, everything that's left over, right? But uh, what they've been doing is, they've been, like I said, they've been landing on a barge and uh, yeah, so this summer there's going to be the first, I think, major attempt at reusing a rocket, so that's going to be interesting to watch. So the actual process for moving it from Cape Canaveral to the base, the storage facility, yeah. it can, it's actually a spectacle. There, a lot goes into it. Well, yeah, I mean, you can uh, imagine when you're out there, uh, you, you probably don't look at power lines as a big deal, but uh, these rockets, uh, they're, they're pretty tall, even when they're on their side on a flatbed, uh, which is how they transport them. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the Florida Power and Light is out there raising the power lines so they can get this rocket through there. Uh, the Brevard County Sheriff is out there directing traffic to make sure that nobody gets in the way. Um, you don't want to uh, get stuck behind one of these <laughs> things. Uh, it's definitely <laughs> slow, slow moving. Drive. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, there there is like a few, uh, you know, a few agencies that have to kind of work together to to get this thing done. Now, do you think this is the future of space travel? You think we're going to start seeing these reusable rockets coming back and forth down the street more and off, more and more? I think so. I mean, I think that the the fact that uh, you know this isn't the first time they've done this. You know, they've done a, a, a couple of them now. As you mentioned, there's there's four in their storage facility now, mm -hmm. I, and I think uh, it's going to end up becoming just part of the process eventually. Where when a rocket goes up, I think you know local residents are going to say, okay, let's let's be out there when this thing just uh, you know comes through the streets. Um, as as you, you probably know, I mean, when when launches happen out there, it's a spectacle, and everybody out there looks to the east, eastern sky, you know, looking for it to go up. Sure. I feel like that part of the process is going to end up being like, okay, now where is it going to be coming through the streets? So mm -hmm. Where and when? It's so. Like a parade of sorts, almost. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be <laughs> fun. Yeah, I'd like a parade. <laughs> so, what's the ultimate goal here? What what is Elon Musk really trying to accomplish with these reusable rockets? Well, believe it or not, he's trying to get to Mars, uh, and that that's been his uh, you know his goal for years, and and every mm -hmm. time that he um, discusses these rockets, these, these reusables, whether it's at, a, at conferences uh, uh, at, at, or industry conferences or, or press conferences, he always manages to throw in there something about Mars because he wants to get to Mars, um, to, to get a rocket to Mars. And, uh, you know, and, you know the, the, the hope for people in this region is that he's going to want to do that off of Florida Space Coast, which is what, what he's hoping to do. Cool. Well, one step closer to Mars. Thank <laughs> yeah. you, Marco. Thank you. <laughs>